population deflation. After decades of declining birth rates, Michigan has hit a nervous low point. 1944, the year Allied forces stormed the beaches at Normandy and FDR was in the White House. It was 13 years before the Mackinac Bridge was built. It was also the last time the number of babies born in Michigan was as low as it was in 2017, which begs some questions. Why is this happening and should we be worried? Michiganders are not having kids like they used to. In 2000, 25,000 more babies were born than in 2017, an 18% drop, the second highest in the nation. Why? One reason is because there are fewer women of childbearing age, and the ones who are have more higher education, which means more opportunity, and that leads to delays in getting married and having their first child. So 1990 was the last big birth year, and it's been going down ever since. Kurt Metzger is the mayor of Pleasant Ridge and also a retired demographer. Is this decades-long birth decline a factor in schools closing, daycares, hospital maternity wards? Possibly. But he says there's a flip side to that coin. Healthcare on the other end is going to be, you know, healthcare, home visitation, and you're going to have to start figuring out how do you cater to those. But it goes beyond fewer people having fewer babies. According to Metzger, the bigger problem here is an economic one, and that has to do with the number of people making up the working class. In 2025, when these kids are turning 18, there will be more people in Oakland County turning 65 every day than they're turning 18. If that surprises you, try this. There are more deaths than births in 49 of Michigan's 83 counties. I think we should worry. It's not just that you want to have a lot of kids, but it is kids become young adults. How can you grow an economy when you don't have a working age population? And there's two more factors in the lower number of births is the state's success in reducing teen pregnancy is one and the continued loss of college graduates to jobs in other states.